Hey everyone, welcome to another Welp reaction. This is another Conan Gray, which we have done, I think, two so far of Conan's. Um, th this is from Steph Welper. She says, here's a live performance festival Conan Gray performed at last year uh, from okay. his new album called Winner. So this is the title track from that oh. album. I love that positive title, Winner. Not the name You're of our a winner, channel. Baby. So not our channel. Not our channel. <laughs> we should have caught ourselves. We're winners reacting. Oh, maybe we should have done that. Winners yeah. react. Winners re oh man. <laughs> we would have got so many comments. You guys are actually just a couple of losers. You're a couple of losers. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. All right. Here we uh, go. Live performance, I believe. So Okay. Oh, excellent. The song is called oh, Winner, but the album is called Found Heaven. There you go. Oh. Okay, well, I screwed that up, and That's okay. whoever typed it into the comments, they're like, D -d 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 delete that comment. Yes. Thank you, Steph Welper, the patron who gave, gave us a song. So thank you so much for joining us for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it. My bags at 14. I hadn't planned on leaving, but you haven't been back home. For oh, it's raining. What an outfit. The pots wow. and pans and roaches. They're glad I'm finally going. A bit clean and mm -hmm. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> you don't really want to hear the truth, do you? It's obvious to anyone who ever knew you. Rhinestones. That all you ever want is to be right. Even if that means you gotta lie. That there's no one who ever has done better at making me feel worse. Now you really are the winner. Yeah, there's nothing that ever did quite kill me more than what you did. Now you really are the winner. Say goodbye. Both did the same time. Interesting that uh, this song, because like 
clearly that was live. There's uh, sometimes like, like you, I always analyze the live shows and I'm like, is what's, what's real? What's fake? You know, what's, what's being played? What's not. And like, clearly, you know, his voice, his vocals were very much live. Mm -hmm. I noticed that there's like, if there were backup singers, the, the band wasn't singing it. So that, that was, was a, a track. Track. That was a backup. Yeah. Track. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it, I'm kind of mixed all over with this one. I, okay. I feel like with that outfit and with the way that he was dressed, I was kind of anticipating this very animated kind mm. of a performance. And maybe it's just the song. Maybe the song itself is very, you know, um, subdued. And mm. and this this is just one of one moment in that performance. Um, I I expect that there were other songs that he was a lot more kind of, you know, excited and animated. Um, yeah, I. I I, I'm mixed with it because I, I, I like the song. The performance seemed kind of, I don't know, just it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Nathan. I'm just waiting for you to that, go. That's, all, that's, that's about all I can say. I, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. If, you, if if I was a fan of the song and I knew the song ahead of time, I would see the, you know, the people in the crowd that know the song. Sure, they're very sure. much like, yep. you know, they know it and they, but uh, nah, I don't know. I'm, I just, just based on the outfit alone, I was kind of like, oh, this is going to be cool. And it sounded like Queen. I think that was kind of where they were going for that sound. It just, it didn't perform like Queen. So I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm ambivalent. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, <laughs> no, interesting thoughts, Nathan. I'm going to share a couple of background things on it before I share my thoughts, just to mm. sandwich our two. Uh, our thoughts with this information here. So this was a, a single released in mm -hmm. August, 2023. So it's fairly recent as we heard in the lyrics, it's a deeply emotional, vulnerable track. I think that might be part of the, the vocal performance. I think it might've been choking them up a little bit, probably, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, it talks about the, you know, we got there from Steph that it's about his father. So there's the abandonment from his father and the idea of winner. We made a joke at the beginning about, Oh, we're going to call ourselves the winners. You know how we're the winners. It's a positive word. Well, obviously, now hearing the song, we see that it's actually like you're the winner because you've beat me down so much and I'm a victim to your abuse, whether it's emotional or physical or whatever it might be or both. I don't know what the story is with this dad, but our abandonment, right? Uh, mm -hmm. the, you know, you've made you made me feel worse. So you really are the winner. And that's a, that I really like the lyrics. I think maybe more like you're saying than the actual physical performance. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, that that's that open and painful song where um, he left his... Uh, let me go back to lyrics. So yeah, I really like that uh, part. It says, yeah, there's nothing that ever did quite kill me more than what you did. Now you really are the winner. Take a bow because you're the winner. That's a very like, congratulations, dad. Let's say it's dad or whoever hurt me. Congratulations. Mm. You won. You mm. destroyed me. Yay. Yeah, mm. And that's and that's a very painful and, but what a great way of kind of putting it back on the bully or the, or the, uh, the perpetrator saying, aren't you, aren't you proud of yourself for being the winner for hurting somebody younger and smaller and weaker than you? Boy, what mm -hmm. a great, what a great victory for you. So that's how this winner is used. So very, I would say clever is not the right word, but a very poetic way of using that. I missed um, it. Dang it. Well, I, I, I should have looked at the lyrics cause that's, I, I kind of got caught up in the performance and okay. everything else. And I, I should have paid more attention <laughs> to the lyrics. It's my fault. No, it's okay. Uh, he wrote the song at two in the morning as well. It was a release for him to do so about the hurt that he went through. Um, and he, apparently, Nathan, he, um, well, in the song, it mentions that he packed his bags at 14. He left a home filled with neglect and chaos. So I wonder if that really mm. is a, quite a biographical type song. Uh, he's actively promotes this song through TikTok and other social media things. He wants fans to interpret the lyrics in their own way. So even though there might be some biographical things to the song, he wants us to interpret it our way. So that's kind of how I interpret it. It was the winner part where he's sarcastically, facetiously applauding the bully. Like, aren't you great? You beat me down. Yay. And I had left home because of your abuse. Yay. You're the winner. You won. You got what you wanted. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I'll speak now about the, so a great singing job by Conan. We know he's a great singer and this is a very, uh, he's also very young. Mm -hmm. Uh, I agree with you actually, everything you're saying about the form. And I didn't like that. I thought this cause I know this is a very deep personal song. So it's kind of hard. Do I criticize that criticize or do I critique the live mm -hmm. performance? It might just come with age and time. Maybe he had nerves, but yeah, it wasn't a very, um, it was a, a very mm, uh, bland 
physical performance. It could have just been nerves, the cold, the you know, raining. Who knows? There's a variety of mm-hmm. different things that could have factored into it. But you're right. The outfit would have betray, uh, not betray, sorry, portrayed a more uh, uh, spastic or crazy performance. You know, from the Led Zeppelin days, the Queen days. These are the type of outfits of David Bowie. You know, you're wearing these outfits. So you got to be flamboyant and, and theatrical. You're wearing mm-hmm. the outfit. <laughs> it's like mm-hmm. wearing a cowboy hat with no horse. You know, so he was... I just I felt like he was wearing this incredible outfit, but nothing came of it. So maybe it's in different performances, and uh, you know where other songs might uh, uh, play to that to outfit. So I kind of agree with you. So it was a little bit jarring to see this very theatrical type outfit with very little theater. So there mm-hmm. you go. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm. Thanks for that context, by the way. I think that oh, no worries makes more sense in my mind. Um, yeah, I I I would love to see more of, of him, especially from this concert. I think mm. I'd like to see, you know, something where he, you know, like you say, where it fits, uh, the the costume fits the performance, and because um, because yeah, we've really enjoyed some of the other Conan stuff that we've listened to, and and uh, yeah, I, I'd love to see more of that. So, all right, yeah, ho- hopefully you stick around for that someday. And Thanks, we'll Steph. We appreciate week. it though. We love you. Yeah, we love you, Steph. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 